Okay, so now we, that we've updated all of our columns, what we need to do is, optionally, uh, add some comments. The Q2 INT REC column is for canned responses. Uh, you can't click for a canned response, nor can you uh, add just anything to this. Uh, it will give you a value you entered is not valid. Uh, the way that we're going to put in canned responses or prompt the canned responses is by holding Control L. Control L will open a dialog box where you can put in a code here. Uh, so this is uh, everything from keep up the good work to must improve study skills. Uh, very quick references uh, for our uh, for our canned responses. Additionally, if you want to do custom uh, input, you can go to Q2 PC1, and this is where we can click, and a dialog box will come up. Uh, keep up the good work, uh, student. Hooray! When we hit OK, that will save it, and you will notice that now, instead of a blank sheet of paper, we see a filled-in icon sheet of paper. Uh, once we are done with all of our canned responses or custom responses, everything looks good. All of our grades are either entered as our updated columns, which we just saw, or we have manual grades. Uh, the last thing that we do is go to post grades. Here we'll have the class what it, that it's for, our quarter, and our grades to post. And here, hitting OK will actually post the grades. This will change these green thumbtacks to red thumbtacks. Be careful, however, because everything needs to be absolutely set in stone, or else you'll have to go to the office and amend this, uh, amend this stuff. Uh, so you want to be absolutely sure that everything is kosher. We've updated our columns, uh, post columns. We've added all the canned responses that we want to. We've added all the custom responses, and everything looks good on the paper before we post grades. So happy grading, and see you later.